today we're talking about supporting exporters in a time of crisis and joining us in the studio, the airport economist himself, Tim Harcourt, and New South Wales Small Business Commissioner, Chris Lamont. Welcome, gents. Um, David. Tim, how are you finding exporters coping with this time? Well, our traditional rocks and crops, the mining and farming, still going well because the, the, the world needs to eat soon, yeah, still. But we're finding manufacturers doing sort of new things like Gecko Systems in Ballarat. Uh, they're a mining manufacturer, they're now making ventilators. A lot of people are quite nimble, but really tough on anything that yep. involves the tyranny of social distance, like yeah. services or tourism. Um, Chris, what's the most common question coming from exporters for you in this environment? Certainly whether the markets are still open and whether there are any additional trade restrictions or requirements to export their, their product or their goods or services. We've seen that particularly in the agriculture sector uh, where there have been some additional requirements. But importantly, we've also seen businesses who want to expand their exports into new markets or grow the volume of their exports. Oh, that's encouraging, isn't it? That's really good. All right, while we've got you two here, let's get to the questions. Thank you, everyone, for sending them in. Uh, Angela from Brisbane asks, what are the best regions to export to and what products or services do best there? Uh, Tim, do you have a, a top two? Oh, look, it's still the Asian century, David. So I'd still say it's China, it's India, it's ASEAN, Southeast Asia, you know, Japan, Korea. I mean, those emerging markets are still where it's at for and Australia. And what are they after from us? Oh, it's still agriculture, mining and, and education. Chris Andrew from Sydney asks, what does being COVID safe mean for exporters and how can the New South Wales government help? Well, it starts with a COVID safety plan and you can get more information on that at nsw.gov.au. You can then register to be a COVID safe business. Go through all of the health checks that you need to have in your business around social distancing, around registering your customers and importantly, your employees to make sure they stay safe during this period. Tim, Katarina from Melbourne asks, how important is it to build relationships with partners on the ground in the country you export to? It always matters. Through thick and through thin, exporting's all about relationships. The good thing about Australia is that we've been able to build up our relationships, particularly in Asia. Uh, Chris Suzanne from Tamworth asks, I'm only a small exporter and my online overseas sales have actually picked up during COVID. That's fantastic, Suzanne. Um, am I still eligible for state grants and funding support if I'm doing better? Yeah, well, firstly, congratulations, yeah, Suzanne, on, on doing result, well in the current yeah. environment. It's fantastic to hear. A um, couple of programs, Export Capability Building Program, uh, provides uh, specialist expert advisors. Uh, Suzanne's from Tamworth. There is a, an expert advisor in Tamworth to help her. Uh, Tim, Alex from Perth asks, how long do you think international and even state borders domestically will remain an issue for Australia's exporters? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Yeah, Mr Joyce has told me uh, not to get on a Qantas flight internationally for 12 months, so, you know, basically we're, we're, we're doing all our airport economist shows here at home. Yeah. But, but state borders matter too. Uh, Chris, James from Gosford asks, uh, where should exporters go for more information about how to cope with COVID as well as other resources? Two really important websites, nsw.gov.au, uh, a range of information there on support and assistance, grants, uh, latest webinars on how to stay COVID safe, as I mentioned before. Um, also Austrade, the latest information available to small business and business exporters there. Thanks so much to the airport economist, Tim Harcourt. Great to see you. Chris Lamont from New South Wales Government, really appreciate your time as well and direction there.